Good afternoon, I'm Rose Jacobs. Welcome to Executive Corner, a show where we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates and more, all under one roof to help you discover stock market insights and understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. In today's show, we explore the data that suggests a significant number of AI models don't meet the production stage. And we have a very special guest on our show today who will share his insights on the subject, including the very many hurdles along the way. And with the development of the MLOps platform, now the road is becoming less steep. Our guest today is Ajit Patbadan, the sales director at Catonic. Ajit has over 25 years of versatile experience in IT sales and business development, servicing customers in the banking and financial services domain. Welcome, Ajit, and thank you for joining us on the show today. Thank you so much, Rose, and good afternoon to everyone. It's lovely to see you here. Now, just before we start, I'd like to begin with a deeper understanding of Catonic. To my understanding, my understanding rather, Catonic ML Ops platform is a collaborative platform with a unified UI to manage all data science in one place. And now ML Ops or machine learning operations is a set of practices that aims to deploy and maintain machine learning models in production reliably and efficient, efficiently, is that correct? Yes, the understanding is right. So we offer a platform, Catonic offers a platform uh, basically for the entire data science process and uh, we help organizations to build seamless integrated AI ML models which can be taken to the production. Wonderful, wonderful. So could you share a little more detail on Catonic's platform specifically around ML Ops for customers and also for developers? Yeah, sure. See, today, today in today's world, what's happening is uh, a lot of organizations uh, have enough amount of data available today. Okay, now, and the deci entire decision making process, uh, especially pre-COVID times, which I would say, uh, was more on uh, uh, intellectuals, uh, uh, someone's intellectual uh, own understanding, own experience. Now it is shifting towards like a usage of data to make a intelligent business decisions. Okay, so now when you are doing this particular cycle of intelligence, uh, building of intelligence, uh, data is the key, and uh, Catonic helps uh, organizations basically to automate the entire cycle of uh, AI-ML operations and uh, successfully implement the models in the production. Mm, wonderful. And so the platform combines the creative scientific approach uh, as well, would you say? Yeah, obviously, because uh, see, the, the AI-ML itself, it says artificial intelligence and ma machine learning models. Okay. So there has to be certain level of intelligence which we need to build, but the base for this building of the intelligence will be the data available. And uh, based on this data and the quality of the data, which matters a lot, uh, the AIML can be a successful thing uh, for any organization going forward. And, and I would, in a way, would say that is the future for any organization, irrespective of the type of industry they are into. Okay, and so it's interesting that you do talk about the future of, uh, of what's to come. Can you give us any more insight into where we are heading overall? So see, today, see, our company's tagline is basically automate the cycle of intelligence. So what we mean is like this. See, today, all almost every organization has uh, data lying in different business systems, whether it's internal or external business systems. Now this data has to be used to get some meaningful outcome to make intelligent business decisions. Now if you use uh, manual processes to do this, it's very time consuming and cumbersome. And the, that's why there is a need now to automate the entire cycle of intelligence which comprises of extraction of the data from your business systems, transformation of this data into meaningful uh, for meaningful processes and then conversion of this data further. Now, we 
at Catonic offer a tool or a platform which basically automate this entire cycle of intelligence and that's how uh, the entire organization works on one platform and uh, it is easy to manage the entire life cycle of AI ML. Mm, I see. And so why is it that some AI modules don't actually make it to production? Great question. <laughs> because uh, there, there is a data which is from uh, Forrester or IDC or Gartner, sorry, which says that uh, only 6% of the projects which are developed actually uh, uh, make it to the production. There are multiple reasons, but the primary there will be, I would uh, point out three reasons. Uh, point number one is uh, basically there is a, a large amount of, I would say, um, importance is given to development of the ML model. Now, although yes, ML model is a very important part of the entire process, uh, there are a uh, lot many preceding and proceeding uh, uh, steps which are required to achieve this AI ML as a uh, complete life cycle. And uh, organizations basically tend to give too much importance to these steps of ML ops development and uh, because of which the other areas of the overall uh, process are neglected and uh, it doesn't make to the production. That is uh, that is a very vital reason. Uh, second reason I would say, see there is a difference. Today people try and compare a DevOps and a AI ML ops. There is a huge difference in that. See, uh, any software development is normally using DevOps. Software development is typically based on code. Okay, and uh, the code is normally a deterministic kind of outcome. So let's say today I have a state of the art laptop available with me and I try and install a Windows 8 on it. It will still work because the software works on its own. It doesn't need anything to be re-looked into. Whereas in an AI ML model, what happens? Yes, there is a code or a software or an algorithm written, but along with that, there is a data element also, which is very vital. Now, this data, because it's a variable in a data itself is variable in nature, uh, this data keeps on changing over a period of time. And this automatically impacts the performance of the model which we have developed. Now, if we don't look into this factor, what happens over a period of time, the performance of the model deteriorates. And because of which the model fails after some time. So it's very vital that we basically continuously monitor this uh, ML of cycle and also train the models. As in when we go, what is what is mean by train is making the changes in the model as per the changes in the data. So this this, this is this is again one factor which matters a lot for the successful movement to the of the uh, ML of uh, uh, model to production and thirdly which is very very vital point is see, any organization has multiple people multiple people doing their job it has uh, uh, machine learning engineers then uh, uh, data scientists data engineers so there are multiple functions and what they tend to do is basically they normally don't talk to each other or work in their own silos they have a preference for particular tools to be used and because of which they work, they don't basically hand off from one step to other step. Now, if this doesn't happen, then actually at the end of the cycle, the output, which is basically derived, doesn't really work in the production environment. So at Catonic, what we do, we offer a platform which basically allows all these people or all these key people uh, to work on the same platform and the handoff is in a planned way. So the models were move from one step to other step in a seamless way, and that's how we take it to the uh, we are successful to take it to the production. So today, if you see the as I said, even the Gartners and the Foresters and IDCs of the world say that only six percent of the models make it to the production. But I'm sure using Catonic, this this can this scenario can be actually changed a lot. So Ajit, would you say that the market has been terribly affected by the pandemic? Yes, I would, yes. Uh, see, a lot of people have lost their dear and near ones. It's a very sad thing to happen. Uh, but 
in a way it's it, if you look uh, positive side of it in a way it's nothing positive about it but in a way it's a positive so what happens is today uh, because of this pandemic every organization is forced to work in a online mode because of the compulsion that they, nobody can move out of their home so because of this movement from uh, working out of offices to working out of home the amount of data being generated is is should grow multifold and it is still continuing and i think it will continue over a period of time till the time this everything settles down now as i said for aiml the heart of aiml is data and because of this pandemic the the nature of the basic data itself has grown multifold and in a way it is helping organizations to make decisions based on the data and this data is helping the organizations to make uh, some decision so if you see some of the industries have really used this data to the best of their uh, abilities and they have been successful during this pandemic times also but obviously overall pandemic has impacted the overall market but uh, the people maybe i would say in a way that uh, people's habit has changed a bit and because of which more and more data is coming in and uh, more and more scientific business decisions are being made mm an interesting time to be watching this space and just very yes. finally on our last question how important would you say is safety speed and sustainability for the market okay see basically these are very uh, safety sustainability and speed are very very vital See, because what happens, especially talking from the AIML perspective, uh, I will give a typical example. Today, before we we have experience ourselves before developing this platform, that typically uh, AML model development, moving it into production, fine tuning it, it takes a lot of time. Let's say anywhere between two to six months. and by the time the model actually moves to the production it has actually lost its value in a way using our platform the same thing which is which used to take 2 to 6 months can be do in a period of 2 weeks so there is a speed element which we have achieved out of that safety yes we follow the all the it security norms of all organization in as a matter of fact our platform can work with any cloud environment If it is a, a, a cloud, or in, even if it is a private cloud, which is an on-prem kind of thing, we can uh, deploy our platform over there also, which obviously helps the organization to uh, basically adhere to the security, IT security norms, which uh, they they have been following. So there is no change for them in terms of the way they are functioning or the their working habits. So nothing changes for them. everything remains reality and we are able to work with them accordingly Ajit Parvardhan thank you so much for your time today and that is a wrap for today's expert talks I'm Rose Jacobs and it's been a pleasure to be with you so do watch this space for more and till then stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine